Um, the second big topic that we, do, we did um, was on fair trade and being able to understand some of the global issues connected to fair trade, um, as, such as the global economy, the credit crisis. We used um, a lot of political cartoons and satirical cartoons. We found that we wanted the students to improve their ability to read critically, not just texts, written texts, but visual images. We did a lot of work with how you visualize an image, the work of John Berger, and um, things like uh, how, to, how to get more meaning out of a, a visual text. Which led on then to the students doing some simulation activities based on free trade um, and discussions that would be had at the World Trade um, offices and things like that. And it finally resulted in them doing some, as you can see there, there's just one small example, making a pamphlet about fair trade. So the students went and researched the topic, took their point of view on whether they believed in fair trade or whether they disagreed with fair trade, and they designed an information brochure for high school, high school or university students. So they selected their target market, they went through all the steps of marketing and how to create and use um, useful images, and did an excellent uh, job of it. Then the second section of that was that they presented these ideas in a PowerPoint presentation. Um, so that was giving them the chance to reflect and present on what they'd written and what they designed. And the final section was then a critical opinion essay about the different uh, presentations that they'd seen from their classmates. So I'd given them some topics and titles, they'd chosen them, and then they decided to write up um, their final thoughts and opinions. So business related in that I'm trying to give them the business skills, but also their English level and their vocabulary level was just going through the roof. But as Andy said, we're not the ones to be here talking today. We wanted to make sure that our presentation focused on the students. So we've given you some background as to why our language learners are successful and what we've been doing with them based on their successfulness. But we'd rather you listen to them. They're far more interesting than us. So today we have two of our students, uh, Aya Mizue and Hiroshi Okamura, who are in the ALPS class. They're second year students. And they're going to just tell you about their experiences as a language learner, their experiences on the ALPS program, and more importantly, what makes them successful. Okay, so I'm going to first hand over to Aya. She's ready. She would do the same for me. 
After that, that experience always gives me courage to talk to strangers from foreign countries. This is why I start studying English further. I listened to one radio program until I was a high school student. After entering university, I changed my studying style because I have time to study English myself. First, I watched some famous TV programs in English. <laughs> Sometimes there are no subtitles, so it's difficult for me to understand, but when I understand the word, it makes me happy. And I also like, I like to watch movies. I watch them in Japanese with English subtitles and write notes of some of dialogue. And later, I watch them in English again. It takes a long time. However, I learn the pronunciation and saying of everyday English. Those ways of studying styles let me improve, improve my English skills. In the arts class, I learn all four skills of English, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Moreover, we acquire the way of how to give presentations, research, and write assignments. Before studying out, I didn't, I did just, I did just my tasks and didn't care. However, now. When I speak or learn something, I always think of how to attract the interest of many people. Actually, these skills are useful for everything, even in other classes. But in the Alps class, it feels like climbing the Alps. <laughs> I want to climb all the way to the top by myself in the future. I thought to be a successful language learner, studying basic grammar, words, and phrases are more important than anything. However, the most important things are to learn the language that you want to study and enter chatting like a user in Japanese conversation. <coughs> I think giving up even if you can talk well is nonsense. To keep trying to understand each other, makes us become friends and enjoy our time through talking. It is fun to study English, to talk about valuable topics, and improve my English skills. Thank you for listening.